Good morning, my name is Stuart. I'm a hobbyist, 3D printer. This is my first video about 3D printing. I always keep thinking I should video and talk about things I do, but I'm gonna get around to it. So I'm gonna try and do that a bit more. Um, so I've just had an experience um, of printing two different things on two different printers and I wanted to share that because um, it may be of interest to people. Um, I have a Chidi Plus 4 that I've had for over a year and been printing lots and lots of stuff out on it and loved it. Um, however, I had a bit of unreliability issues with it. And while I was in the process of sorting that out, I also treated myself to a Bamboo Labs H2D um, with the multicolor option. I'm still waiting for my Chidi multicolor option that I ordered a long time ago. Um, Anyway, both printers, uh, my Chidi has been sorted out by Chidi. The support was excellent. And now I have two printers printing. And last night I printed uh, two different parts, um, two of the same parts on the two different printers. And I was surprised this morning to see how different they were. So I thought I'd share that and show what they're like. Um, so I'll flip around and show you that now. So I'm printing a bin, which is strange. I found this bin on the internet. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see a lot of layer lines in the bin, which I didn't really notice to start with. Um, this is printed on my Chibi Plus 4, um, but I was very happy with the quality of it. I, I would say um, it's not perfect, but it's very, very good. I know I glued it together last night. I managed to get glue in all the wrong places, so learning lesson there. But um, very smart uh, design, who the people who did this. Um, but um, I was printing a lid for it, and I, and I was also printing another one of these bins on my chidi, so I thought I would um, print a lid on each of them last night when I went to bed. So I want to show the results of that. So <clears throat> um, these are the two lids, and they both hot off the press this morning. And I think you can see that they're already see there is a difference. This one is more matte on top, and this one is more shiny on top. Now I'm using uh, Eligu Rapid PLA Plus Black Filament. I think it's called Matte Black. Um, but I just want to show you the difference in these and talk about which one's better. So this is the, uh, this is one and you can see, let's focus in a bit better. You can see it's very good quality. Um, to be honest, I'm really happy with the quality of it. I've not really had any, any issues at all with that. A little bit on those court on those edges there where it looks a little bit bubbly. I don't really know what you de how you describe that. But very good quality. And then this is the other the other one I printed. Now this is on uh, this one is significantly better. It's, it may be hard to show in the video just how much better this is, but the quality of it is fantastic. Uh, almost like a printed like a, a produced plastic part, uh, which I'm I'm really impressed with. Now. To reveal that this one was printed on the Chidi and this one was printed on the Bamboo Labs, which now throws me into a bit of a quandary because I print so many things off and now I'm wondering whether I should be printing everything on the Chidi or whether I've just got some settings that I need to make better on the, um, the Chidi. So the Bamboo Labs is significantly better in this example, so I'm gonna be doing some more tests on these items to see. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print a section of this bin on the Bamboo Labs printer to see how it turns out today and then I will update it. 